In the fight for a fairer America, people may protest and stand up for their rights. But in the middle of the 20th century, when a mountain of segregation laws limited so many aspects of African American life, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund was established to strike down each and every one through the courts. It was the brainchild of Thurgood Marshall, who would later become the first African American Supreme Court Justice. As an up and coming lawyer, Marshall joined the legal team of the NAACP and in 1940 launched the Legal Defense Fund to raise money and provide a team of lawyers to fight discriminatory laws throughout the nation. Marshall and the LDF started with education because they could prove that a lack of resources in all black classrooms was unequal, then began attacking segregation laws one by one. LDF lawyers like Jack Greenberg, Robert Carter, and Constance Baker Motley brought cases against segregation in restaurants, movie theaters, parks, and public pools. They won equal pay for black teachers, forced courts to sit black jurors, and exposed racial discrimination in the voting process. At one point, the LDF oversaw 450 court cases at the same time. Marshall even argued a record-breaking 32 cases before the Supreme Court, winning 29. The LDF laid the legal foundation to end the practice of segregation. Its victories helped create a new America where people of all colors and creeds could start to enjoy equal opportunities. And today, it continues the fight for racial justice as one of America's foremost legal firms for civil rights. How do you see people involved in the fight for racial justice today?